Hey all just want to give you an update. Just want to give you an update on our garden. <clears throat> and you can see how our carrots are going right now. Uh, far from being ready to be picked, but you know, that's a little experiment we have with a um, a uh, never have to water self-watering um, garden. And I uh, wanted to show you how things are going here. Excited about our grapes. You can see all the little grape uh, pods or whatever. They're growing on here. We should have tons of grapes this year, hopefully. Although we have uh, some type of bugs that are attacking our, our leaves. So uh, anyway, here's our uh, No Bend Garden that uh, a lot of people like. You can see I ha we have our, our peas growing. And we haven't really eaten any peas, haven't gotten anything from them yet. And our, our cauliflower, right down here, we already harvested our radishes, and boy, were they good. And here's our lettuces. Our lettuce is growing so tremendous now that we got it up off the ground. We have romaine lettuce, and we have a little bit type of iceberg leaf lettuce here. And uh, we've harvested a little bit of the kale. That's here, two types of kale, and then our green beans that we're hoping to grow up on the trellis, much like uh, the peas will be up on the trellis. So uh, we just planted some blueberry bushes, some blueberries here and here in our food forest. This used to be our uh, spinach that we've kind of over harvested a little bit, but uh, we might give it a little bit more, let it till it, it, it bolts, but we've eaten all that. That we could out of that so far and then uh, our uh, um, Swiss chard this stuff has been actually great to eat uh, just delicious a little earthy uh, the Swiss chard is but uh, you know uh, still delicious and our fruit trees our our, uh, our apple trees we have uh, you can see some apples coming out here kind of excited about the apples coming through but we have a few that have dropped. We also have our um, strawberry basket. We do a lot of, uh, I guess you might call it experimental uh, gardening is what we're doing. And we are letting some of the natural uh, milkweed grow because that is where we get the monarch butterflies from. And you also see some more of our grapes that we go going down the line. And there's a big raspberry bush right there. We're hoping to get some good raspberries from. Again, we call this our little food forest that we have. You can see some berries coming on in there, looking good. Just planted our uh, tomatoes. I'm a little bit behind in getting our tomatoes planted, but uh, we should go. What I did is it took off the tomatoes and I, I clipped everything up but the, the last two. Um, leaves on it and put it down so it's laid down sideways so it can grow some more um, roots right from the the stem of the vine so we got some here it looks like pretty healthy we'll see how they go well we will be uh, or i will be uh staking up staking them up got a little bit of weeding to do but that's okay and come over here that first um that first apple tree is called a sweet 16 apple I heard that that's really good uh, here we have a Jonathan apple tree and there's one right there so we have one of those Jonathan apples we've got a few around kind of excited to see how they're gonna grow and then we have Fuji apples over here uh, we have a few growing on here be kind of excited to see how they go these are first time we've had that many apples last year we only had one apple uh, and then our peaches and we have so many peaches that are falling off the ground on the ground but you can see all the peaches that we got up in our trees up in this one peach tree I think this is an Elba peach tree uh, I wasn't too impressed with the taste last year but uh, they're growing pretty good. The secret to growing peaches is to properly trim it, uh, prune it. That'd be great. And we got two other blueberry bushes here growing um, that we just planted, or three, excuse me. Um, we have some mountain mint to help out with the um, all the uh, 
uh, pollinators. We've got more mountain mint over there, the other side of the tree. And then I'm just going to stay inside the garden here. And then over there we have uh, one, two, three blueberry bushes. This one's not doing too good. That one's a great. We get a, a, quite a bit, about half a gallon to a gallon of blueberries off of that every year. And then this is a little, a little ground cover uh, blueberry bush. So that's where we are, are in our food forest garden. Just wanted to let you know. And again, this, this, uh, our no Ben garden, man, it's really doing well. Best crop we've ever had because they have not been attacked by the bunnies. And uh, to me, that is, is awesome. It's been delicious to grow, grow that. Um, I'm looking forward to the college. Oh, and by the way, this is a giant um, marigold. And we had some other marigolds in here too, but they died. They didn't survive the frost we had. I just never replanted. Uh, and the same thing with some of the other beans that we had here. So looking forward to it. And then down below, we haven't done it yet, but I want to put some more vining, climbing vines down here. And then uh, maybe some zucchini down underneath here. So we'll have, uh, we'll have on the ground, a ground crop. We got this crop and we got the crops that are growing up on the trellis. That's there. So anyway, that's kind of what it looks like. All right, take care. And I wanted to also just to show you what we did for the front yard. Thanks to River Rock Landscaping who put in this great uh, um, fence that we have and replanted some things and we have Quite a, we had quite a few uh, rhododendron that were out, and uh, they replanted them. Got a new front yard, side yard, and we still have a little bit more work to do in terms of uh, planting some things over there and cleaning this area up a little bit um, and putting in a, another walkway up through here. But uh, still see some of the straw coming through really love what what the, the design of this was just excellent still some of the bricks from the old patio that were here was here and uh let's go around so y'all take care bye